Hey there and welcome to Umbraco. In the next couple of minutes, we'll have a look at one of the features in Umbraco called Language Variants. The feature allows you to vary content by culture, so you can allow a content node to exist in several languages. I'm Gabriel and I will be your unicorn guide throughout this video. Let's get started. I'm in the back office of my Umbraco installation where I have only one content node that has a couple of properties. The very first thing to ensure when you want to work with language variants is to have more than one language enabled on the website. This is done quite easily from the settings section. So we head over to the settings section and then we choose languages. As we can see, we only have one language, the one uh, that's, uh, that comes by default, the English one. And in order to create a new language, we just click the, uh, the small um, green button, add language. Perfect. Then let's choose the one that we, we want to configure. It will be the Danish one. Then we have uh, two settings in here. First of all, we can um, default the language. So basically, an Umbraco site can only have one default language set. We have already the English one, so we won't be able to add this uh, setting as well. Then the next thing that we have here, it's called mandatory language, which means that the properties on this language have to be filled out before the node can be published. This is quite a useful option. Let's imagine that you have two main markets, Denmark and Germany. So the content for both languages must be in place before the content editor can publish. A smart and easy way to ensure all your required content is up to date. Then we have the last option here, which is uh, the fallback language. I'm going to choose English and then press save. All right. Now we have two languages on our website. We have the English and the Danish one. So we can actually vary the content with. But before doing that, we need to enable the feature on the document types that we want to use. So I'm going to head over to the document types. I have only one, the home. And then the very first thing that we have to do is to head over to permissions, the permissions tab in here, top right uh, corner, click on it. And then we have this option here that's called uh, allow varying the, by culture. We enable it, save it. And now to allow a property on, on the document type, we'll, we'll have to enable the feature on the property we want, of course. So I will start with the page title. I will just click on the uh, arrow in here. And then we have this option that says property type variation. And then we allow varying by culture. Yes, please. Then the next one, it's a body text. Exactly the same workflow, allow varying by culture. And then the last one that we have, it's uh, the footer tab with the footer text as a property. Perfect. And then we have it in here. Oh, just uh, press save. Perfect. These are all of the settings that are required. Now, if you return back to the content uh, section, we notice two things. First and foremost, at the top of the content tree, there is a drop down, so we can show the content tree in the language of our choice. Secondly, to the right of the content node, there is also now a drop down where we can select the language that we want. At the moment, we have two English and Danish. The Danish one is not set up. So let's do that together. I'll click on this one. And then I have the option to translate uh, the content into the Danish language. Also, if you just head over to the drop down, we have another option called open in, in split view. If I click on this one, then we have the languages side by side. So now let's actually translate um, the text from English to Danish. OK, so I'll go on the Danish here and provide a home, uh, home node uh, name. So let's say home page DK. Then we have uh, the page, uh, the page title of it. So let's say let's translate this actually what's new in Umbraco V8 in Danish. So I'll go with uh, And then the body text will keep it exactly the same as this one since it's a uh, lorem ipsum. Perfect. And then exactly the same with the, the footer text. Awesome. Now, if we just click publish, we'll have some options in here. First of all, it will say what language you would you like to publish. If, for instance, we'll make changes on both languages, like uh, on English and the Danish, then we'll have here the option to either publish only in Danish or we can publish only in English or both of them. I'll just go with the Danish one, publish. Now that the Danish language has been created, let's close the split view. 
perfect. Now, if I go back to the top of the content tree, then I can select between the languages. So for instance, right now I have English. If I go with Danish and click on the home note uh, dash DK, I have the text in, uh, in Danish. And then if I want to see the content notes that are available for English, I can go back to the drop down and select English. Exactly the same if I need to make any other changes to, um, to the Danish compared with the English one, I can always go back into the split view. In order to test out our multilingual setup, we'll only need to configure the culture and host names for our languages. So I'll just close the split view and then I'll head over to my uh, uh, content uh, node homepage right click and then I will select culture and host names and from here I will start adding the new domain that will be for English I will just use a local host and then for the Danish one I will use exactly the same local host URL but I will just add the slash DK perfect save now I'll just close uh, the view refresh and now if I head over to the info tab I have the links for uh, the home node for the English home node, so if I click on this one, I'm redirected to what's new in Umbraco V8. On the other hand, if I select the Danish language, I have a different URL, of course, but if I go to this one, we have the translation in Danish. So guys, in less than seven minutes, we were able to set up a multilingual website in Umbraco 8. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, a big high five, you rock.